Hey everyone, so in this quick video, I wanna go over how we can customize Blender's hotkeys so that they're better suited for animation. So one of the first things that I do, no matter what animation program I'm using, I wanna make sure I have a strong understanding of some of the basic hotkeys that you use all the time when you're animating. Things like jumping between keyframes of your animation or just frame by framing your animation, or even just jumping between manipulators, so jumping between translation and rotation. These are things you do all the time when you're animating, so making sure you understand those hotkeys in the software or you customize those hotkeys in a way that you actually like to work. So that's what we're gonna be going over in this video. So I have a scene open up here in Blender, and this is actually the walk cycle that we created in my previous YouTube video where I talked about the mirror tool and how we can use the mirror tool to very quickly create a rough walk cycle. So we're just gonna be using that scene here as we customize our hotkeys. So whenever I'm animating, the thing that I do most often is jumping between keyframes of my animation and just frame by framing my animation. So to do that in Blender by default, you press the up and down arrow to jump between the main key poses of your animation. You can see that as I do that, I'm jumping between the main key poses on this walk cycle. And then if I press the forward and backward arrow on my keyboard, that's allowing me to just frame by frame my animation. So going forward one frame every time I hit the right arrow, going backward one frame every time I hit the left arrow. And for me, this default setting in Blender is just really awkward. I don't like having my hand all the way over on the right side of the keyboard. I don't like having to use the forward and back in the up and down arrows to really scrub through my animation. For me, this just needs to be set on something a lot more comfortable to use, also in an area where I have a lot of other hotkeys so I can keep my hand sort of focused on one side of the keyboard. So for this, I'm gonna change where the hotkeys are actually placed. So I really like to have the ability to jump between the keyframes of my animation on the number two key and the number one key. So number two jumps for one keyframe, number one jumps backward one keyframe. So let's go ahead and go over how we can set that up. So I'm gonna go up here to edit, and I'll go to preferences, and then I'll go over here to key map. And if I just type in like the up and down arrow, you'll notice that nothing actually pops up. What I actually need to do is type in up arrow, and that will show the up arrow here you can see on the key binding, and you'll see that it says jumped keyframe. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and select that option here, and it says press a key, so it's allowing me to change this bind. So I'm gonna just press the number two, and you can see that's gonna remove that just because I'm searching here under up arrow. And now what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and just type in down arrow. For this, I'm gonna change to the number one. I'll press the number one. Now, if we were to actually test this out in the viewport here, you'll notice that it's not doing anything. It's actually toggling the visibility of my character because that's what one and two were actually bound to. So what I need to actually do here is go over to the search bar and I'm gonna just type in the number two. And you'll notice that the number two is bound to a few other things here. So what I can do is go ahead and just deselect the select mode toggle and the hide collection. Now if I go in here and press two, it's going to jump forward every keyframe. And now with the window open back up, I'm gonna go back to the number one. I'm gonna deselect those two options as well. And then now you can see I can jump forward a keyframe and back a keyframe by pressing two and one on the keyboard. So immediately, this is just a lot more comfortable for me to work. This is how I have it actually set up in Maya. So I'm able to unify the two programs that I use a lot and make sure that it's really easy for me to jump between the programs when I'm utilizing similar shortcuts and hotkeys. And Blender's default shortcuts can be pretty confusing and kind of unintuitive to use. So it's really helpful if you're finding you're using shortcuts a lot and you're finding that the default shortcuts just aren't very comfortable for you. It's really helpful to go in here and just customize them to the way that you actually like to work. So the next thing that I wanna do is go in here and make sure I change how I can actually frame by frame my animation. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and type in right arrow. So then it just shows all the hotkeys associated with the right arrow. So now if I go in here and I change this from the right arrow and I'll go ahead and select it. And what I'm gonna do is press two. Now that actually set that to the same keyboard shortcut that I have for jumping between the keyframes. But now if I go in here and just type in the number two, you'll see we have the frame offset, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the drop down menu. I'm gonna go ahead and select Alt. So that means if I press Alt and two, it's going to jump forward one frame. So let's go ahead and do that for the left arrow. So I'll go ahead and just type in left arrow. I'll select this frame offset, I'll type in one, go back and search for all the hotkeys assigned to one. I'll go to frame offset and I'll just hit Alt. And now if I close this, 
What we should be able to do is every time we hold Alt and press 2, we're frame by framing our animation forward. Every time we hold Alt and press 1, we're going backwards. So we're keeping everything really close together. We're not having to move our hand on the other side of the keyboard to just simply frame by frame our animation. So the last thing I want to cover here is how we can actually switch between things like the translation and rotation manipulators inside a Blender. So by default, you can go over here to just the selection set. And if you select one, it's going to change the manipulator here. So if we select move, we can translate our character. If we select the rotate, we can obviously rotate it. Now, when you're working and animating, you want to be able to just switch between these really quickly on the fly because you're constantly translating things and then rotating things. You're sort of just really jumping back and forth. So by default, the hotkey to change that, if you hold shift and spacebar, it's going to open up this menu here. And here you can quickly select your manipulator. And you can end up doing this fairly quickly because you can see if you press shift and spacebar and then press G, it's going to allow you to go to the move manipulator. If you press R, it's going to go to the rotate. And then if you press S, it's going to jump to scale. So you can get comfortable enough with this where you're quickly just popping open that menu and then just pressing G to jump to the translation, quickly open it up again and then press R to go to rotate. However, I find this a little bit unintuitive and frustrating at times because if you want to play your animation, all you have to do is press spacebar. So that actually plays your animation. You can hit spacebar again to stop your animation. Now, if you press shift and spacebar to try to open up that menu, oftentimes you might accidentally hit the spacebar key first before you hit shift and that will play the animation. So you're trying to open up that menu, but sometimes you'll accidentally hit shift to play or stop your animation. So it is a bit frustrating at times. So what I'm going to do is just change this to a much simpler hotkey that will allow me to work a lot faster. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the move tool and all we have to do is just right click it and choose assign shortcut and then it allows me to press any key. So I'm just gonna press the W key. And then now if I press W, it's going to jump to the translation manipulator. And then for rotate, I'm gonna go ahead and right click it. And you can change this to really whatever hotkey you like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit assign shortcut and I'll press the E key. So W goes to translation, E goes to rotation. And now I'm able to quickly jump between each manipulator, quickly switch here without having to open up that extra menu. And it just allows me to work a lot faster. And also since I have my hotkeys for basically scrubbing through my animation on the one and two key, it allows me to keep everything sort of contained on one side of the keyboard and I'm not having to move my hand around. And it's just a lot more comfortable to work that way. And you'll find you'll be able to animate quite a bit faster when you're not having to jump between extra menus to turn on things like the translation or rotation manipulators. So hopefully you found this video helpful for you in customizing Blender to really work best for you and really work best for animation. So if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials or videos, make sure to leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.